So let me tell you what happened last night at the restaurant. It was pretty intense. Table three loves the Roquefort sauce. The man on 15 said the lamb tangine is the best he's ever had. Oh, and there's a food critic on table 27. What? How do you know? She's been here three times. She always orders something different, and each time she wears a hat as if she's in disguise. Also, I um, read some of her notes while she was in the bathroom. What did it say? Croutons, something, something, something. I don't know, I couldn't read her handwriting. Where is she? Oh, no. Not her. What? You know her? I think I do. Oh, no, don't tell me you didn't. I think maybe I, I kind of did. Her name was Carmen, and we had definitely met before. Well, she hadn't told me she was a food critic. Our conversation was kind of limited. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Mm-mm-mm. I really had a great time. Me too. You know, I'd love to see you again. I like that. Got your number. <laughs> Are you gonna call? Of course. Really? Baby, I'm definitely gonna call you. Let me guess. You never called her. I was gonna call her. I swear I was gonna call her, right? But you know you gotta wait three days so you don't look desperate. But during her three days, I was finishing up three days with this other girl. And then I started three days with this new one, and that's how I got all mixed up. How'd you get out of this one? Oh, let me tell you, right? Hey. Hello. Good morning. Oh, hey, hey, boys. Good morning, fellas. Hey. Hello. What's up? Hey, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm interrupting something. Oh, no. No, no not at all. No. You just might be more comfortable over there. Okay, <laughs> look, guys, I know what you talk about when you're alone here at the dog park. It's not a big deal. Go ahead. Feel free. Don't let me stop you. No judgments, okay? So what'd I miss? Um, Jeremiah slept with a woman, didn't call her back, and now she's reviewing his restaurant. <laughs> Good. I hope she nails your ass. Uh, not judging. You want the perfect excuse? Tell him your mom just died. I feel real sorry. Start crying. Next thing you know, you got a little parliament to funk on and you're keeping time on the headboard. So it's all about the deception and the manipulation of women. Oh, by him. So how'd you get out of this one? I decided the best defense is a good offense. <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed your meal. Fine, thank you. Okay, then. <laughs> Is there something wrong? Some man must have really, really hurt you. <laughs> Excuse me? You know what? I wasn't going to do this, but I got to ask, why didn't you call me back? Wait. I was the one who gave you my number and you never called. Why would I ask you for your number and never call you back? I left you three messages on your machine. Uh, honestly, I never got a message. I would have called you back. There must be something wrong with my machine. Please, all right? I mean, does anybody buy that excuse these days? Look, I can deal with the rejection. What I can't handle are the lies. I swear, I never got a message. Really? Really. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what? Let's just start all over. No, 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 no. See, I'm the one that should be apologizing. I just feel terrible about all of this. I wish there was a way I could make it up to you. <laughs> Let me tell you, man, if that whole we're not worthy thing wasn't so overdone, I'd be doing it right now. Honey, you gotta admit it. It's pretty cool. No, it's not. It's... 
All right, it's pretty cool. I'll tell you what's really cool. The Beach Weekly hits the stands this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Yours truly will be the hottest chef in town. <laughs> I might not have time for the little people. All right. So you scored, you lied, and then you scored again. Yes. Is this what you guys really talk about? Oh, I just listen, honey. Oh, come on, Michelle. You know women do the same thing. Oh, yeah, sure, we talk. But you you guys, you couldn't handle what we talk about. Oh, come on. How bad can it be? That's it. Yeah. If we were all your girlfriends, what would you be talking about? Yeah. Well, I, I'd probably talk about whatever was going on. Like today, for instance, I would say, hey, girls, what's going on? I woke up this morning, I got my period, and now I am all crampy and bloated and I'm bleeding like a stuck pig. <laughs> Honey. That is just distasteful. So, let me get this straight. Uh, manipulate and deceive for sex? Okay. Normal body function? Not okay. Now you're getting it. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. I'm not dying. It's just my period. <laughs> Hey, girl. You ready to go? I can't go jogging. Guess what arrived today? You're not going to go running just because of that? Nina, this morning I screamed at Eric because he was breathing too much. Ooh, it does sound like a bad one. Yeah. You need me to bring you anything? Actually, I'm, I'm out of pads, but you know what? I'm just going to send Eric out later. Uh-uh. Bad idea. Why? You do not want Eric involved in this situation in any way. Men cannot handle this. As far as they're concerned, that area is zoned for recreational use only. <laughs> you have a very bizarre Victorian outlook on life. Call it whatever you want, but a woman should maintain a veil of mystery. Well, Eric and I don't need that. We live together now. I think that he can accept me as a real woman. And real women menstruate. Real? <sighs> Men don't want real. Okay? They take real when it's too late. You throw real on them after 15 years. That, that may be true of most guys, but Eric's different. I've been real with Eric since day one. I'm not going to stop now. Now his friends, they are a whole different story. You should have seen their faces this morning at the dog park when I told them I had my period. <laughs> you told a group of men you were having your period? Oh, girlfriend, you are going to take us all down. So, uh, Michelle's having a little visit from Aunt Betty, huh? What? Aunt Betty. It's a euphemism for period. Oh, don't you mean Aunt Flo? Oh. I guess it's just that my Aunt Betty's always such a bitch. I just associate her with that. You know, I remember when I was living with Jocelyn, when she had her period, she seemed so connected to the Earth and the lunar cycles. I envied her so much. You know, I told her once I wish there was some way for me to be able to share that experience with her. She threw an iron at me. The gals may have it rough with their period and all, but at least they never have to worry about getting kicked in the blueberries. What? It's a euphemism. It's a regional euphemism. In what region? I guess it's a place where guys' testicles are very small and very blue. Hey, whoa. Hey, my man. <laughs> Let's see. Let me see. <laughs> yeah. What the... Sir, sir, that guy's stealing a copy of your jug. Hey, honey, how, how you doing? Awful, crampy. I've lost so much blood, I'm lightheaded. Huh. You done with the paper? Eric, 
Be honest with me. Does all this female problem stuff, does it just gross you out? Oh, no, honey. It's, it's uh, natural and, and fine and natural. Good. Good, because I have a favor to ask. I'm out of pads. Really? Well, that's an unpleasant coincidence. Yeah, do you think you could run out to the drugstore and get me some? Oh, I don't know if that's really my uh, area. Well, it's for an area that you are sometimes interested in. Can't you get Nina to do it? Oh, you know, she said that you wouldn't be able to handle me like this, and I guess she was right. You know what, just go out with the guys and have fun, and I will just fend for myself. Don't worry about me. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Listen, whatever you need, I'll, I'll, I'll go out and I'll get that stuff for your area, and it'll be natural and fine. So, uh, how was Carmen's review of the restaurant? I don't know. It didn't come out this week. Huh? It's the Beach Weekly. It comes out every week. Yeah, well, maybe instead of calling it the Beach Weekly, they should start calling it the Beach Occasionally. Okay, okay. You guys must have read it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it wasn't that bad. Well, she gave the restaurant two stars. Two out of four stars? That's ridiculous, man. I'm a four-star chef. You guys know that. The only reason she did that is because she was mad I didn't call her the first time. But although, wait, wait a minute. But you had sex with this woman, right? Yes. See, because the way she wrote the review, it could actually be read two different ways. Well, listen. The dessert, though tasty, came too fast. <laughs> or this, the portions, while advertised as large, were disappointingly small. <laughs> There is nothing wrong with my portions, okay? One waits and waits for the main course to arrive, and then the asparagus is limp. Man, the asparagus was crisp, okay? Very, very crisp. Don't get that out of shape, all right? It's a small local paper. I guess you're right. And you know what? She's a food critic. Yeah. That's what she does. She gets paid to criticize food. We all know you're a great chef. Mm -hmm. You know the sexual stuff? That wasn't there. Okay. Uh, you know what? You guys are right. This is stupid, okay? I'm not gonna let some small time critic from a small time paper make me feel small. Because there's nothing small about me. Because I'm large and I'm crisp. <laughs> I got here as soon as I could. Right, don't worry, listen. I know this stuff, okay? I got three sisters and a youngish mom. What are you looking for? She said pads? Interesting. <laughs> oh, man. If you look, look at all these, man. Sanitary napkins with baking soda? What do they think you're gonna bake? Okay. You've got uh, regular, quilted, ultra thin, but no wings. Or you can have the wings, but then you're gonna lose the quilting. This is worse than ordering at Starbucks. The girl in the blue box looks happy. Hey, it's Jeremiah. Calling you again for the, like, fourth time. 
Hey, maybe you accidentally lost my number, but uh, baby, you gotta call me back, all right? Please, baby. Come on. Hey, Clay. Hey, man. Who are you talking to? My mom. You call your mom baby? <laughs> We're close, man. It's a black thing. <laughs> all right, it's Carmen. I just want to talk to her, and she won't call me back. Chomp? What's that? It's the world taking a bite out of your ass, my friend. The karma police. All those women you never called back, you're finally getting a little taste of your own medicine. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go over there and talk to her in person. Chomp? You better stop that. <laughs> Pads for moderate bladder control protection. I'm bleeding, not leaking. You said pads, I got pads. They're extra plus absorbency. They're diapers, Eric. Well, look at the girl, she looks happy. Yeah, because she's not peeing her pants anymore. Look, I'm sorry, but I did the best I could. I mean, there is a reason why you hide that stuff under the sink. Oh, you know, Nina was right. You can't handle me as a real person. Okay, maybe it makes me a bad guy, but I don't want to know what goes on down there. Oh, you know what pisses me off the most? You are disgusted by me, a female human being, and yet you will rub ointment all over Betsy and give her suppositories and clean up her vomit. Well, it's different with Betsy. Why is it different? Because I don't want to have sex with her. Well, that's actually reassuring. Okay, you know, but before we were living together, if, if we had a date and I didn't feel well, or I had a big fat zit on my forehead or something, I would just cancel. And you would never have to know that I was less than perfect. But now that we're living together and the veil of mystery has come down, you want to put it back up. And I, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Okay, I lied. I never called you. But there's no reason for you to be unprofessional and give me such a bad review. I assure you, there was nothing vindictive about my review. It was, in my opinion, an accurate assessment of your skills. You know damn well that was some of the best food you've ever had. It wasn't. I spent two years in France. Well, you definitely can't tell me the sex wasn't the best you ever had. It wasn't. I spent two years in France. <laughs> okay, Miss France. I mean, since you're such an expert, how can I improve? Well, for starters, you might consider paring down the menu. You're doing way too much at one time. Okay, I, I can do that. And you have a tendency to rush the orders out. I mean, people need time to enjoy their food. That's a fair point. And quite honestly, you can spend a little more time on the breasts. I take it you're not talking about the chicken. Look, a two-star review just means good, just not great. So like my review said, there's room for improvement. All right. You know what, I got one question. I mean, if the sex wasn't the best, then why did you sleep with me the second time? Well, it's sort of like reviewing a restaurant. You never eat at a place just once. So how many times did you actually eat at my restaurant? Three times. Okay. So the way I figure it, I get one more chance. <laughs> Come on, girl. Make for daddy. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Honey, something happened to me at the dog park today. What? Something about us. It's all clear to me now. I'm listening. It was like one moment I didn't understand anything, and the next moment I got it. There I was, holding a plastic bag filled with Betsy's warm, squishy poop, <laughs> when I instantly thought of you. Okay, this is the worst epiphany I have ever heard. <laughs> My point is, I realized that picking up Betsy's poop doesn't make me love her any less. In fact, that's what love is. It's, it's taking care of each other. Well, coming from you, that's poetry. Now, listen, this is the first relationship that I've been in that isn't just about sex. 
But don't get me wrong, I, I want us to have sex. <laughs> Lots of sex. <laughs> Tons of sex. <laughs> it's just that this is different. I, I really love you. Wow. Yeah, so, you know, go ahead. You know, take your best shot. I can handle it. I can't wait till you get a yeast infection. <laughs> I know where they keep the stuff. Okay, okay, that's very sweet. But what about the veil of mystery? Oh, believe me, there is plenty of mystery. I still have no clue how your mind works. <laughs> Destiny. His gifts come with responsibilities. Just wish I could control this. A future enemy hidden behind the face of a friend. I promise I'm not a criminal mastermind. The most promising show of the new season. You have to believe me. I believe you, Lex. Ah! Smallville. An all-new episode on the WB's New Tuesday.